Yesterday, images of the iPhone 15 series front glass panel and screen protectors leaked and today, South Korean leaker Yoo's 1122 shared some images of the dummy units of the new phones. They also show how the iPhone 15 Pro stacks up against the iPhone 14 Pro. As yesterday's leak had indicated, the dynamic island with pill-shaped and circular cutouts will be standard across the entire lineup and not exclusive to the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max anymore. The Pros also have slim bezels and although it's hard to make out from these images, the bezels are slightly curved around the edges. What's easier to see though is that there will be five key differences between the iPhone 15 Pro and the iPhone 14 Pro. The first difference is that the iPhone 15 Pro's sides are rounder than the iPhone 14 Pro's. This is a subtle change, but it could make the phone feel more comfortable in the hand. The second difference is that the iPhone 15 Pro will have a titanium body instead of a steel frame. This will give the phone a more premium feel and it will also be more durable. The third difference is that the new Pro model will have a programmable button instead of a mute switch. This button could be used for a variety of tasks such as taking screenshots or activating Siri. The fourth difference is that the cameras on the iPhone 15 Pro won't protrude as much, likely because the phone will be a little thicker. This is a welcome change as it will make the phone less likely to wobble when it's placed on a flat surface. The fifth and final difference is that the new phones have a USB-C port instead of a lightning port. This is a major change, and it's one that many people have been hoping for. USB-C is the more modern standard, and it's also more versatile. The design changes are undoubtedly very subtle, and an average user probably won't even notice them. Nonetheless, it's good that the lineup will have a unified look, but even though the dynamic island is coming to the base models, the 120Hz refresh rate will probably still be limited to the pros. The iPhone 15 and 15 Plus will probably also get the 48MP camera this year, but they won't be powered by Apple's newest bionic chip. The highest-end model, the iPhone 15 Pro Max, is also rumored to get a new periscope camera, which could help it become the best camera phone of the year. The iPhone 15 Pro is rumored to have a number of significant changes over the iPhone 14 Pro, including a titanium body, a programmable button, and a USB-C port. Do you think these changes are enough to justify upgrading to the iPhone 15 Pro? Or do you think the iPhone 14 Pro is still a good enough phone? Do let us know your thoughts about it in the comment section. Hope you liked and subscribed to this channel. I will see you in next one.